Two years. Oh, without without um, computers and video games to distract you, I think it's probably it's not, like this. Not as much. This pot right here has seven trees in it. Wow. And so we fertilize this with comfrey water. That's the only reason they can live in this little pot. <laughs> um, but some of them aren't aren't living that well. But they'll be okay. But so this is like this. You can see how the rootstock transitions up. And you, we've been experimenting with rootstocks also. We did eight different apple rootstocks this year to figure out what rootstocks do the best here, what's the most vigorous. We want, you, you pick your rootstock based on the size of tree you want and um, based on the most, the extensiveness of the root system you're looking for. Our soil is extremely sandy and we get high winds. So we need vigorous roots here. If we try to plant any of these pansy dwarf trees <laughs> that they plant in these commercial orchards, they're just going to blow away and fall over. So we have to really find good rootstocks. Wow. Um, and luckily there's an 84 year old Swiss man who lives about a mile and a half south of us on the island who's been doing this for 50 years. Oh, wow. there you go. He gave us Reapers. probably 20 of his favorite varieties this year and wow. told us the rootstocks we should be using. So he shortcutted us like 10 years of experience. <laughs> there you that's go. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. So that's the graft and it's a whip and tongue graft. And if you just it's just a single cut on each one, and then you make a tongue down the middle, and you just wedge them down together. Hmm. And the key, it's there's all these scientific words, but all you're really doing is trying to match the life forces of the two plants, the branch oh. and the rootstock. So what does graft mean? Yeah, what does that mean? Uh, I think to graft means to improve, and it just means to basically to graft in this case means to make a new tree, to it's create it, wow. become part of the other one too. Yeah. Right. So you can what kind of root balls can you use for um, crab apples or any crab apple is compatible anything in the mallet family <coughs> they have to be in the same species yeah but you know I heard somebody saying this year that you could graft an apple on a maple tree so I would like to try that next year because if you could wow. get a big leaf maple tree dropping apples <laughs> that, that's like another age like that's next level so, wow. apple trees that's I mean, pretty amazing who knows what's possible wow. we don't huh. know that's the amazing thing there's an infinite there world of possibilities. Does it become a GMO at that point? <laughs> <Right. laughs> it is, it is genetic, it is modified, but not in the way that Monsanto modifies things. It's, a, it's nature modification. But so that that's we really have a passion for doing that for 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 working with the fruit. And trees. then what are you what is what's next stage with? Uh, we we'll we plant these. So you go plant um, this. it's been really dry. So we've been pretty we've been holding on to a lot of them right now, but. As we walk down, you'll see we have an orchard in the driveway circle, an orchard in the front as you pull in, and then the whole lower field, basically, we've seen that we have to start integrating fruit trees. We can't just have row crops of vegetables. We don't till anyway, so why would we not want permanent root systems in the beds? But we have to get the shade out there because yeah. without the shade, it's, I don't want to sit in the full sun all day long, so I don't know why all my vegetables, I don't know why the kale or the carrots would. Of course, they want shade also. Mm -hmm. So. We're just seeing how we're really going to just be planting them everywhere we can. And it's really nice in the garden beds because then we can look after them. You can make sure they have enough water. You can for, you can just give them exactly what they need versus planting them in the outskirts. You really can't pay attention in the same way. And we've had to learn that lesson definitely the hard way where we've tried to plant them in ideal spots that are kind of more removed and it just doesn't doesn't really work. And I think it was all working towards realizing that we just need to integrate it all together. We, it's not separate. It's all, it's all together. So. Mm -hmm.